You guys hear that? I have developed a rattle. I wonder what that could be. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can we get started for you? Yeah, how you doing? Can I have a... Uh... Hey, hey Keith. No, 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 what are you going to be driving? Right? How you doing? Going well. Yeah, I know the Starbucks drive through guy. So what? That air conditioner just comes on literally whenever it wants to. But all right guys, what the heck is up? Welcome back to the garage. So a burnout allegedly happened with the truck. A few minutes later. We absolutely smoked the tires. We took we took thousands of miles off the tires. And the rear brakes are are now uh, smoked. So we have to address the brake issue on the truck today. We have to flash on this crazy new drag tune on the Supra, which I'm super pumped. Just when I get settled in on a tune on that car, which is crazy already, the tuner brakes more ground on the car and sends me another tune. So, awesome. Now this is like a full bore tune where, you know, things are getting a little sketchy. But those cars are pretty tough up until like torque. Um, engines, are t engines are pretty stout. It's the transmissions where they have a little slippage at like on the torque side. So we're gonna test the new drag tune today because uh, I haven't been posting much content with the Supra. I've been driving it a lot, but I haven't really been doing anything. We also have a secret package over there in the corner behind all of this mass of, of, of junk. Uh, back there in the corner, we have an awesome, awesome product for the Supra that we're probably gonna be installing here shortly. You know, just when you think you're caught up to everything, you're not caught up. There's 14 other things that come out that are new and you're behind again. Yeah, so guys, listen. I can only move it a little bit because I'm in park. All right, guys, so it turns out I was completely wrong. Um, so here is the, the brake pad. This is the outer pad. Obviously, the outer pads wore a, a little less than the inner pad. Um, I mean, I, I would say this thing still has like half life left. And this is factory brake pad. This has never been replaced from new, and there's like 83,000 ish, 84,000 miles on the truck. And I use this truck as a hotshot hauling truck. So, uh, huge props to Ford factory brakes because, whoa. So it turns out there was just some rust and some crud on the rotor that was causing that noise from whenever I just washed the truck to do my wheel video. If you guys haven't caught my uh, polished wheel video, it'll be linked right here. So, Honestly, I do have these apart. I'm just gonna clean some stuff up and these are going back on. Inner pad is all a slightly less thick than that one right there. So I'm not even dealing with it. I am just putting these ones back on because I wanna see how many miles we can get out of rear factory brakes. New ones are literally over there on the shelf. I know you guys are gonna be like, dude, you should just replace them, bro. But uh, I wanna see how many miles we can get out of the rear factory brakes. So going back on. So pads are back on. I just uh, put a little uh, brake lube in there and the factory pad saga continues. We're gonna see what we get out of those. But check this out. So here's the old Warrior, what I used in uh, my last video for the wheels. Harbor Freight, complete, cheap, works super good. This will make or break you. So, yeah. All right, 
All right, so the tune on this car is already pretty spicy, right? But this tune that we're about to flash right now, hold on, I gotta figure out how to get on the computer. But the tune that we're gonna flash on right now is like a dedicated drag race tune. So it should be a ripper, maybe get some better traction off the line because these cars are like crazy. But I guess I just have to learn how to drive better to uh, launch the car. All right, so we're just gonna try to go for this right now. All right, so check this out. So we have uh, stage two ethanol drag map. Oh, baby. I always forget to do this, right? I forget to put it into uh, diag mode. You guys gotta tap this three times. And then it'll tell you down there in the bottom, diag diagnostic mode active. Program engine ECU. Program ECU one more time. And the stage two drag map is going on. Um, now we just let it do its thing. the uh, secret testing facility. We got the air conditioner on. Should probably turn that off. absolute blast whoa buddy all right so big question should we put like a nice wheel and tire on the car or should we do like a drag setup on the rear uh because I, I i mean we need it we need a good tire if we're gonna go to the track and put any kind of decent time down but i suck at driving uh, we, we need a tire especially for my driving capabilities you know what i'm saying so putting, so putting like a, you know, like a 19 or a 20 on the car, yeah, you can run like a Nitto like drag radial, but you'll still be running like a 20 inch wheel with a smaller sidewall tire. Um, so you're not going to see as good as of a result, right? Definitely we'll see a better result with a 17 inch wheel, uh, maybe like a 28 inch tire, do a little bit bigger of a sidewall. That'll probably help my, my driving skills out a little better, but you know, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. So let me know in the comments drag tire on the back or do like a proper like nice set of wheels and tires all the way around the car but anyways with this car uh this the the supers are direct injection which kind of is limiting on you know you're hinging on the high pressure fuel pump um, so there's two fuel pumps it's kind of just like the diesels there there's a low pressure side which gets the fuel from the tank to the uh engine and then there's the high pressure pump which actually takes that fuel and, and pressurizes it a lot more for the direct injection um so basically these cars right now are at the mercy of the uh high pressure pump on the fuel side so you know so you can't run full e85 on this car as it sits you have to run port injection and then still you're going to run into a fuel pump a low pressure side fuel pump overheating issue if the car is below half tank um, so probably we'll add in some kind of auxiliary pump to the car if we do port injection, but those are just kind of plans. I'm still learning about this platform and I actually am very kind of into it. I'm getting to the point where I'm itching to do more with the car, but I haven't been posting a whole lot about the car because you guys absolutely hate it on YouTube, but these cars are absolutely crazy. Oh, there's a dude down here, um, probably sleeping or something. I was trying to come down here and do like a, you know, a launch. But this dude's down here is definitely snoozing. United Rentals guy. So now we gotta find a new spot. Actually, well, I mean, who cares? All right, so let's see what we can do. We're kind of going uphill here a little bit. 
Um, I just have the car in drive and in sport mode, so it's gonna shift itself, so I'm not messing it up. But uh, I didn't do like a pre-burnout or nothing to clean the wheels, to clean the tires, but it's pretty hot outside. Like the air conditioner's running, it's like 90 degrees, and uh, I'm just gonna wing it. So traction control off, we'll do like a 2,000 RPM launch. So the car pretty much launched. It launched pretty good. Um, it didn't spin that bad. We'll go back and get the camera. But it definitely feels faster than just the regular stage two map. So I don't know if the torque curve is, is different with the drag map or how it's exactly set up. I don't know the exact scientific way, but uh, it definitely feels more planted. It feels more launchable and then it just slams into power once you're already like moving from a dead stop. So, whew, man. All right, so I almost forgot. We forgot to do a data log. <laughs> uh, the whole point of what we're doing right now is to get a log to uh, send to the tuner. So we're gonna do that exact thing again. Here we go, ready? <laughs> Something weird happened. <laughs> oh, I think it threw a drivetrain error. Said that was a possibility. It was just full rip and then. Poof. Whoa. <laughs> um, there's the United Rentals guy. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Alright guys, uh, yeah, just looked at this, uh, just looked at my screen and it says drivetrain malfunction. You can continue driving, no roadside assist assistance required, reduced engine performance. So there's why it definitely feels slower. Um, have the problem checked by your dealer. Uh, so we officially threw a drivetrain malfunction. I don't know what we have to do just yet, but we're gonna find out. I've been seeing baby deer everywhere lately. See those two over there? Guys, no worries. Uh, I just talked to the tuner. We are okay. It just crossed a threshold that he set. So I don't know exactly what threshold it is. I just sent the logs to him and I spoke with him. He said, it's all good. Don't worry. He's going through the logs right now to check to see what threshold crossed and tweak it. Send me a new file back and then we'll be ripping again. But I didn't know this. All you have to do to reset the uh, drivetrain drivetrain it's a tongue twister the drivetrain malfunction is shut the car off turn it back on and uh you're you're reset <laughs> all right guys i guess it's time to open this uh go fast package really quick to see what we got whoa didn't mean to do that all right and here you go you can see already what this kit is maybe if i can get it out of the box buddy so we're gonna be installing a methanol injection kit on the supra now this is gonna help us make some more power currently but we're probably not gonna lean on this thing too too much um we're definitely gonna run it a little heavier now with the stock turbo but as i've been talking with the tuner 
we're probably only gonna use that just a little bit to actually cool down the air because my plans are changing just a little bit for that car. I don't just wanna get on the dyno and make like a whole bunch of horsepower. That's kinda easy to do with those cars. They, they can make great power. Because yeah, it's cool to make a bunch of power on the dyno, but I like driving the car and I wanna go fast on the drag strip. So I don't wanna sacrifice any type of performance drivability to just make big power on the dyno. But all right guys, that's it for today. We've been rambling enough. We're probably not getting to rusty red today. It's a little late in the day. Um, so that will have to be in the next video. But all right, tune in, next video. We're trying to go to the drag ship with the car with the revised drag tune. Probably go on the stock tires unless I can get a set like super fast. But we'll see about that.